you know, very family oriented affairs. That's a threat to the sovereignty of the government of Canada. I don't think so, Justin Trudeau. In tyrannical countries that you didn't want to keep your money in the bank because the, the government could just take over the bank and then grab your money. The federal government has invoked the Emergencies Act. A bank or other financial service provider will be able to immediately freeze or suspend an account without a court order. Have you been following the stuff with um, Justin Trudeau and the truckers in Canada? He's invoked for the first time in Canadian history the so-called Emergencies Act. Now, this Emergencies Act is supposed to be for national emergencies. This is the act passed in 1988, and here's what it says. It says that it's only supposed to be enacted during, quote, urgent and critical public emergencies, which, quote, seriously endanger the lives, health or safety of Canadians or threatens the security of Canada. Now, if you can't turn the concept of freedom into a problem, then you have a harder time basically subjecting people to tyrannical measures. You have a harder time subjugating people and oppressing people if you can't make freedom into a problem. Mr. Speaker, yesterday during a press conference, the Prime Minister said, and I quote, some people will say we moved too quickly. Other people will say, no, we should have acted weeks ago. The reality is this. The Emergencies Act is not something to take lightly. It is not the first thing you turn to, nor the second, nor the third. So my question is, Mr. Speaker, can the Prime Minister please tell Canadians what first, second and third actions he took before invoking the emergency? The freedoms that are now being violated, the, the most obvious ones are financial freedoms. You wonder why people are investing in crypto? You wonder why people are trying to skip financial institutions? The reason for that is because of what Canada is attempting right now. Okay, what Canada is attempting right now is unprecedented. It's crazy. Canada's Minister of Finance, a woman named Christia Freeland, ironically, she is now suggesting that without court order, without legal basis, financial services providers are going to freeze or suspend accounts, financial accounts. Okay, this is insane. That's an insane provision. Just to explain what she is now saying, this would be the equivalent of Bank of America thinks that you are giving to, for example, the NRA, who may engage in activities that the government doesn't like. And maybe the money ends up being traced all the way back to the bank and to your account in the bank. The bank can now prevent you from accessing that account. They can freeze your account or suspend it with no court order to do. They can just remove your property from you and they are shielded from liability from you. Walking around this morning, there was an eerie silence. Black vans filled with police officers going back and forth. They're going to a staging area. Police officers handed out this document, which basically states that you are unlawfully on the street. You will be arrested if you don't leave. So they're handing this document out. Uh, Newsmax obtained this uh, before they actually handed it out to all the cops, uh, to all the truckers, I should say. Uh, there's a lot of uh, action here. These folks are getting a little uneasy. Some are saying they don't care. Arrest me. I'm not going. While other trucks have uh, started to get their uh, stuff together, put the chains on their trailers and potentially willing to depart. Uh, but this is coming to an apex now. There's 1,800 police officers and about 275 RCMP officers that are staged here. Only 300 trucks left, some of them left overnight, and about 150 core demonstrators right here on Wellington Street in Ottawa. The government is issuing an order with immediate effect under the Emergencies Act, authorizing Canadian financial institutions to temporarily cease providing financial services where the institution suspects that an account is being used to further the illegal blockades and occupations. As of today, a bank or other financial service provider will be able to immediately freeze or suspend an account without a court order. In doing so, they will be protected against civil liability for actions taken in good faith. I want to go up to Canada and spend a few minutes on what's happening up in Canada. It is truly becoming terrifying. Yesterday, in the last 15 minutes of this broadcast, the CBC released a statement from uh, Prime Minister Trudeau, who said he was invoking the Emergency Powers Act. 
Now, this used to be called the Emergency War Act, uh, but they changed the name of it in the 1980s. And he has said that this is just not, this is not going to hurt regular Canadians. Uh, It's just to go after these, well, I think they define them as terrorists. I want you to listen to this is Canada's Minister of Finance. This is amazing. Stu, do me a favor. Her name is Christina Freeland. Uh, Google her name along with the words World Economic Forum. Um, uh, yeah, she is. Uh, uh, she's on the. Uh, she is on the website of the World Economic Forum. She is a member no. of the forum's board of trustees. Board of trustees. Mm-hmm. What a surprise! When the governments can go to the banks to shut down your ability to actually transfer money because they, they tell the banks that those banks could be theoretically held civilly. You never know. You might be held civilly liable. If you give money to the Freedom Convoy, you might be held civilly liable, you, you bank. And so why don't you just shut down that account right there? And don't worry. If you do that with no court order, with no actual court order, with no due process, if you do that, I can't even sue you. If I've got money in the bank and I just want to give some money to the Freedom Convoy and you shut down my entire account to prevent that from happening, with no court order, I can no longer sue you under the Emergencies Act in Canada. That's totally insane. This is treating people as though they are funding terrorism. That's what it is. Now, the current terrorist laws in in Canada do not cover things like funding the Freedom Convoy because why should they? These are not terrorists. So what are they doing in Canada? They're expanding the terror financing rules to cover the Freedom Convoy. So now it's Al-Qaeda and the Freedom Convoy in Canada. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is very concerned about freedom in Ukraine. Western intelligence agencies believe Russia will invade Ukraine any day now. And so Trudeau has announced that he will be giving Ukraine a half billion dollar loan and an additional $7.8 million worth of military equipment. It is even possible that we will see Canadian soldiers fighting alongside other NATO allies in Ukraine to repel Putin's invading force. So crucial is it to Western civilization that we maintain freedom in Ukraine. And to prepare for this robust defense of freedom in Eastern Europe, Justin Trudeau is making sure to quash every last gasp of freedom in his own country. In response to the peaceful convoy of truckers protesting the government's vaccine mandate, Trudeau has officially suspended civil liberties in Canada. Justin Trudeau is looking to turn the maple leaf on Canada's flag into a communist hammer and sickle, which shouldn't be a surprise since he's a longtime admirer of China and having totalitarian control over your people. Listen. There's a level of of, uh, admiration I actually have for China Um, because their basic dictatorship is allowing them uh, to actually turn their economy around on a dime. Well, now Justin is getting his chance to play dictator. His administration has not hid their contempt for the protests going on in Ottawa. Since late last month, truckers have turned the city into a parking lot. Trudeau is bullied into action by a fearful Joe Biden, who was worried this freedom display would make its way south of the border. So he convinced Justin to turn up the heat on his own people. 